Last month, fire destroyed the clubhouse at Creekside Golf Course in Wayne County, and it left so many employees out of work over the holiday season. And that led a neighboring golf course to spring into action. A husband and wife duo organizing a golf event that raised more than $20,000. Tony Cavalier introduces us to this week's Hometown Heroes. It's not normal for a golf outing in our region to be held in winter. Cold winds and Jack Frost keep most golfers in front of the TV for their fix. Go, 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 go. But then again, it's not every day that a golf clubhouse burns to the ground. So was the fate at Creekside Golf Club in Lavalette in early December. On that day, several loyal Creekside employees lost their jobs. But there's a special bond among golfers. So it was a natural for Creekside's neighboring golf course at Sugarwood to step in. Enter Sugarwood's dynamic duo, Susan Glasby and hubby head pro Philip Butcher to brainstorm up a golf tournament. Proceeds going solely to those who lost their livelihoods. It's a process, but everybody here has been so welcoming and they have raised, they have raised so much. You know, they brought everybody together and it's just such a great A lot event. of love and support. After the round, scorecards will be handed in on the first tee. I have scoreboards set up down there. Um, we're going to do all of that down there on the first tee. I'll have the raffle tickets down there on those boards. I'll have scoring after the event on those boards. So on this Saturday before Christmas, they came from across the tri-state, 150 Linkster strong, to tee it forward for a good cause. Joe Gillerain of Creekside summed it up. The brotherhood in golf is everyone's. If one goes down, you guarantee someone else is going to step up and help you. To the Creekside every weekend, so just coming out and having a good time. Support this guy right here. He 